hearty congratulations to all the young graduates who are receiving today's certificate, medals, titles and biggest congratulation is for their parents because it is their parents who are the most uh, uh, happy today. Today we are all receiving education always gives power. Education is a passport to the future and the future belongs to all those who believe in the beauty of their dreams and education gives always a power but the character gives the respect. So it should be a mix of both a knowledge as well as character. So education is really the superpower and it is a powerful weapon. It is a powerful weapon which can change the nation and it can change your life too. Collapse of education is collapse of the nation. That's what uh, great Mandela used to say. Collapse of education is collapse of the nation. Today you are all receiving medals, awards, certificates, degrees and during this period you have gone through a lot of hardships, hard work and also have faced a lot of challenges. You can understand you also face a lot of financial constraints too. But uh, you have to take back home the great present memories that we have gone through at this historic uh, university. Because unfortunately in these days of digitalization, we carry a lot of present memories in the pen drive, but unpleasant memories in the mind. So please take back the pleasant memories of this uh, stay in various affiliated colleges uh, in the mind. It's very essential and imperative responsibility in the part of teachers and university to produce a quality product. Ultimately what matters is the quality products. It's not the number that matters, it's the quality of the products can matter. The quality can come only, this is where probably the state as well as uh, the UGC, even the government of India should take an important note because uh, unless you have a quality teachers, regular teachers, so one of the, because the theme has to change from construction to creation of post, number one, Number two, we have to fill in all human resources in a very short frame time. That is the only way we can improve the quality of products. Otherwise, the buildings remain continue to be the ghost building with a very, very deficient faculty. So most important, the team should move from construction to creation and creation to recruitment. And that should be the order of the day. It is also equally important, students in addition to knowledge, they should cultivate good culture, wisdom, humanity, common sense, good behavior. Common sense is almost like a flower which is never grown in everybody's garden. Common sense, in fact, many of the great achievers have got a tremendous common sense. So that one has to acquire. And talent and skills alone are not sufficient to become good human beings. The destiny and future of all of you is shaped in the colleges, so the future generation has to take our state and India to a greater height. Unfortunately, today, many educated people are indulging in mad practices, crimes, hatredness, destructive measures, which is a matter of great concern. Our intelligence should be used for more constructive purpose. Degrees without culture, wisdom, social commitment, have no meaning. For growth of this nation, five E's are extremely important. One is empathy, second is education, third is energy, fourth is environment, fifth is entrepreneurship. Those five E's are extremely important, keep in mind. Yes, there is explosion of technology and we are talking today about uh, artificial intelligence, we are talking about machine learning. There is always a fear whether this artificial intelligence is going to snatch away the jobs, whether it's going to snatch away the opportunities, but probably one, because India is a country of nearly 135 crores, and there we need to balance between our manpower or the human power versus artificial intelligence, because now artificial intelligence is coming everywhere for making a diagnosis even reception can be an artificial intelligence, health test can be artificial intelligence, 
and even the anchors could be an artificial intelligence in the future. But one has to really balance because we need to really give jobs to so many uh, graduates. So it's a double-edged weapon. We can have the entire world in our hand through a mobile phone or a smartphone. See, today we are talking about G's, 2G's, 3G's, 4G's. See, in my opinion, these 3G's, I mean, many G's were there earlier. The first G is Guru, the second G is Guide, and the third is uh, God. And offspring we have added, that is uh, regular Google, that is the uh, G. So these G's were there anciently too. Guru was there, Guide was there, and also uh, the God was there. In this competitive world, every youth has a mindset, they must also move power, they are naturally stressed, life should be a dream, there are many challenges to make it come true. Success is difficult if you lack in confidence. Confidence is the superpower. So, in fact, uh, I think the younger generation are under tremendous stress today, because they want to achieve too many things in a too short time, and you look at our education system, Today, all young youths in the age group and middle-aged in the age group of 20 to 40 are uh, vulnerable to various lifestyle diseases. They are coming with high blood pressure, coming with diabetes, coming with heart attack, coming with the stroke. So, I think uh, today the children education has become mother's examination. Because, take look at their mothers. Who are just uh, there. I mean, today, what is, at least in my opinion, probably a policy has to change. At least up to seven years of childhood, up to first standard, their classes, the timing of the uh, school should be, they should start at 10 o'clock, leave them by 12 30. Start at 10 o'clock, leave them at 12 30. Because today, what is happening, we are building up the stress for the children right from there. Uh, kindergarten school. They are not able to eat, they are not able to drink milk, and we are putting those small kids into the buses as animals. This is a really a matter of concern, and by the time they reach 20, 25 years, they are looking like 70 year old people and more vulnerable. So, stress management has to start from the childhood, and mothers. Look at the mothers are also having a lot of health problems today. We never used to see health problems before the age of 15. So on the other day there was one mother who came to us with a chest pain, anxiety and a lot of headache. I was asking why is that mean? Then she was telling me, uh, my child did not get good marks. Then I was thinking whether it's 10th standard or 12th standard. Then I asked uh, what was her kid doing? And uh, the lady said, LKG. <laughs> so this is where our system needs to change. Uh, so four C's for success in life and to reach desired goals. So these four C's are commitment, compassion, consistency and communication. I think communication skill is an integral part of today's education and we should have a holistic approach today. It is not just degrees, it is not just medals, it is not just ranks, titles. What is important is a very good communication skill and see with us or without us. Well, earth is going to exist and the world is going to exist. Be humble. That is very, very important. Life is always full of ups and downs. For example, you, as a cardiologist, you see, uh, I think an ECG could be a typical example to define what life feels. Ups and downs. If you look at the ECG, the waves will come up and down. Life is exactly like that. So, there can be a rise, there can be a fall, but if it's a straight plane of an ECG, then the person is no more. So, life is exactly like that. So, there are two types of examination. My hearty congratulations to all my young uh, dear students. So, there is, uh, two, you know, post university examination, and uh, there is also another important examination, what is called life examination. University examination, in my opinion, if you put in a lot of efforts, you can always pass because question paper is common. But in a life examination, from for each one of us, the question paper is different. Try to copy each other, you will end up in problem. So, this is very, very important. And don't be afraid of failure. Failure, uh, 
probably uh, failure, what is the definition of failure? Failure, in my opinion, is the first attempt in learning. Some success cannot come overnight. One has to work hard for some time. Today's youth is in a hurry to achieve too many things in a too short time. And of course, we are talking about integrated medicine and trying to take too many examinations in one go, put down all of them under stress. So they want to read the book. The things which have to be achieved in five years, these youths are, are, I mean, want to achieve in just one year, putting a lot of stress. What is stress? Stress is a gap between expectations and performance. Once you have expectations, I agree, but too many expectations can put you in a lot of stress. And uh, one of the best prayers is, if you want to walk fast, walk alone, but if you want to go far, should go together. So I think uh, we have to go together. It is a dream of any graduate to shape their future and to get employed as early as possible. If you look at this education system today, in general degrees, the employability is just 10 to 15 percent. But in technical courses, employability is around 30 to 40 percent. I think this is where one has is a competitive world and the opportunities are limited should keep an open mind, try to look for jobs, whether it is either government or private. And one should not be always obsessed with the government jobs. Because a lot of people say, uh, those who are working in private, don't know, I want to join government services and all. Today, I think the world has changed and uh, you, should be, you should have an open mind to work even in a private sector, but probably uh, that's where one has to go. Work hard and and of course, uh, the present government has announced some incentives for the fresh, uh, fresh graduates, 3,000 rupees per uh, fresh graduates and 1,500 rupees per diploma. Use this money, use this money for upskilling or for coaching classes or getting a coach for various competitive examinations. Don't use this money uh, somewhere in the malls or anywhere. So, uh, you can use this money for skill training and for coaching classes. Those do not bother about failure. Many top officers, many great achievers, many many inventors, many innovators uh, fail, uh, particularly in a competitive examination. Attempts ma doesn't matter at all. Ultimately, it's the goal there we have to reach. So, secondly, some of you are aspiring for one of these competitive examinations, whether it is to KPSC or even the UPSC or in our own field. So every field has a glamour and flavour. If there is a commitment, if you are love, you should love your subject, that you should love your job. So that is where. So what is integrity? Integrity is nothing but doing your job efficiently when you are not watched, when you are not monitored. So you should develop integrity in your life. You can always uh, inculcate entrepreneurship minds and create opportunities for yourself. One can always work as an employee. At least uh, some of you can become, yes, you start as an employee, then over a period of time become an employer. So that's how your mindset should be. Whatever uh, you achieve in a hard way, it will remain forever. So there is no escalator for success. We need to move forward step by step in a phased manner. Self-confidence, self-belief, hard work are really the super power. This is very, very uh, important. Super power, self-confidence. Who is genius? I think every one of us are born with the same brain. It's not matter. The size of the brain is not important. The size of the thoughts is important. It's not the size of the brain. It is the size of the thoughts that that's important. Who is genius? Genius, in my opinion, is 10% talent, 90% hard work, 90% love for the job, and so that is the So your best motivation is yourself. Mirror is the best example. Stand. We always try to uh, take up some examples, take up some uh, heroic uh, persons. So I think uh, you just stand in front of the mirror because uh, your job nobody can do. You stand in front of the mirror and look at your uh, look at what, who is your hero. In fact, you are hero for yourself. And if you stand, uh, that's what you just see. Well, who is this hero? In the process of achieving your goals, don't resort to shortcuts. That's very very important. 
See, just because you are not able to reach your dream or your aim, don't change your path. That is very, very important. What we learn in school and college is 50%. What university has taught you till today is only 50%. Another 50% life will teach you. Your neighborhood will teach you. The environment will teach you. The circumstances will teach you. Marks and academic excellence is not the only criteria for successful life. Even those with low scores, with commitment, hard work, dedication can be great achievers. So marks with a positive mindset is the best combination. I certainly agree you should get fantastic marks. Marks are important, but alone is not sufficient. And uh, so marks without interest has no meaning. Don't shy away from pen and paper. Today we are getting addicted to uh, this uh, digital technology. What is called screen addiction is a mental disorder. One in eight in India is suffering from a screen addiction because yes, you have to move with the system. We should be well, well acquainted with the computers. We should be well acquainted with the digital technology. But still today, we cannot because all of a sudden uh, we have seen in our hospital the entire system collapses. People talk about paperless coffees. When the system collapses, there is nothing to support. So we have to have both in place because there are some studies when you read from a book or when you write with your pen and paper, the memory box in the brain, what is called hippocampus, is stimulated to a greater extent and the memory is retained for a longer, longer time. Today we are talking about somebody takes class PowerPoint presentation, electricity goes up, class stops. That means they have, don't have anything in the brain. So this is where we need to balance between digital technology and all other things. One of the important thing, research unfortunately has taken a back seat in India because of paucity of funds in almost all universities. It's a matter of great concern. Over a period of time, the research grants are virtually weaning away and disappearing. So research is imperative on the part of the, both the state government and the UGC to allocate sufficient funds for research activities. I think without research there cannot be an university and that is very very important and there is no progress, no innovation, no research. <laughs> research is a lifetime of discoveries and innovation, otherwise learning process will become stagnant. Allocation of funds for research activity is least in India compared to the rest of the world. You look at China, look at Japan, or look at for European nations. There is a generous uh, allocation of research funds. So this is where we have to make, uh, I think that should be taken as a very important uh, thing. There are three types of intelligence. One is intrinsic intelligence, artificial intelligence, emotional intelligence. So yes, in my opinion, EQ is more important than IQ. The emotional quotient is more important than uh, your intelligent quotient. All, at all stages of life, one should have patience, silence and smiling. Today we are working like missions, we are working like equipment, we don't look at each other. Even if you look at each other, you don't smile. Even on wedding reception, many of them don't smile, even on wedding reception, uh, because uh, uh, that it, almost wedding was long over even before wedding. So this is where after all stages of life, one should have patience, silence, and smiling. Five eyes are very important for students. That is intelligence, integrity, integration, involution, and also uh, I mean innovation. So these five eyes are very important. There are nine commandments for better living. You should always have have a dream big dream. Your eyes can be small, but your dream should be big. And micro changes bring macro transformation. Don't shy away from uh, your dreams. There is no shortcut for learning. Inculcate optimism in life. Never go for social and economic comparison. Avoid overthinking and over ambition. Tolerate and appreciate the growth of colleagues and others. Have social responsibility. Give something back to the society. That's what our honorary doctorate awardees have given back to the society. So, whether uh, it is Mr. Raman or uh, Dr. Uri Krishna, Karani uh, Chidanan, they have given something back to the society. Never forget parents, teachers, and motherland. Celebrate 
Mother's Day, Parents' Day every day, not on those American days. And positive attitude and self-confidence are key points for the future. Should have faith in yourself. Faith is a small word, but has a supreme implication. Ten important yes life lessons. I think these are very important. Today you just uh, go to the airport. Even if you just uh, in the queue, if you touch him, in that moment they they stare at you. That is not our culture. That is not our uh, attitude. The mo ten most important one word life lessons are most selfish one letter word I avoid. Most satisfying two letter word be agree. Most poisoning three letter word ego kill. It. Most used four letter word love value. It. Most pleasing four letter word smile keep it. Fastest spreading six letter word gossip ignore it. And seven success and most avoidable eight letter word jealousy distance. Most powerful nine letter word knowledge acquire it. Most essential ten letter word confidence. Why I am telling all those things? All those things will make you as a Vishwa Manava. That's what uh, I am saying. And respect the world when you are young. Help the weak when you are strong. Confess the fault when you are wrong. One day you will be old. One day you will be weak. One day you will be wrong. So follow us in your life. Very important. Success can be defined as uh, see your goal. Understand the obstacles, create a positive mental picture, clear your mind of self-doubt, embrace challenge, stay in back, simply be silent in anger. These are some of the important. Life is a combination of hope and despair. Kindness makes you the most beautiful person in the world. So I think the beautiful hearts are more important than the beautiful faces, in my opinion. Beautiful hearts are more important. I would like to try to become an example by way of See, today we talk about branded, we wear branded clothes, we talk about branded uh, jewelry, branded footwear. I think uh, your path should be branded, your achievement should be branded. That is very important. One of the major problems in our society nowadays is lack of confidence, increase in mental stress among the people. Because today we see 30 percent of heart attack is below 40 years of age. Daily, day in and day out, 30 percent we are seeing 19 year old student, 20 year old medical student, 23 year old engineering student, and even doctors. So this is all because of stress and stress. So stress management and lifestyle is very important. Our food habits, and all those things are important. So, just of course, you might be wondering why a cardiologist is not talking about heart. Uh, just for your good heart health, uh, five points are important. Keep these five things as far well as possible from your uh, adulthood itself. Five things as low as possible uh, for a better heart health. That is blood pressure, second is blood sugar, third is blood cholesterol, fourth is body weight and waist circumference, fifth is over ambition, over ambition. This is very, very important. See, it's a very interesting uh, thing. Uh, I'll take with that. the permission of the Honorable Governor, I'll just take uh, three, four minutes. So, uh, because many of you are going to become teachers in various colleges, many of you are going to become uh, uh, the professors. So, what should be your duties and responsibility? All the time we are talking about only students, students, what should be their attitude, future? So, what should be the duties and responsibilities of teacher? So, here is one parent goes to the school and they request the teacher how his daughter or child should be trained in the school. ಬಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆದುವ ಬದಲು ಖುಷಿಯಿಂದ ಶಿಸ್ತಿಗೆ ಒಡ್ಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದನ್ನು
ಅವನಿಗೆ ಅವಳಿಗೆ ಬದುಕು ಕಲಿಸಿ ಕಷ್ಟಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಓಡಿ ಹೋಗುವ ಸುಖ ಬಂದಾಗ ಕುಣಿದಾಡುವ ಬದಲು ಸಮಚಿತ್ತತೆಯಿಂದ ಇರುವುದನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿಕೊಡಿ ನೋವಿನಲ್ಲೂ ನಗುವುದನ್ನು ಕಲಿಸಿ ಎಂದಿಗೂ ಜಾತಿಯ ಬೀಜ ಮಳೆಯದಂತೆ ನೋಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯವಾದರೆ ಚಿಟ್ಟೆಗಳ ಚಂದನವನ್ನು ಆನಂದಿಸುವ ಹಾರುವ ಪಕ್ಷಗಳನ್ನು ಎಣಿಸುವ ಸಾಲಾಗಿ ನಡೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುವ ಇರುವೆಗಳನ್ನು ಹಿಂಬಾಲಿಸುವ ಬೀಜ ಮಳೆಯುವುದನ್ನ ಕಾಯುವ ಕುತೂಹಲವನ್ನು ತುಂಬಿ ಗಿಡ ನೆಡಲು ಪಣ ತೊಡುವ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಬರುವಂತೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಬದುಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೋಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಗೆಲ್ಲುವುದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಪ್ರಾಮಾಣಿಕವಾಗಿ ಸೋಲುವುದನ್ನು ಕಲಿಸಿ ಕಲಿಸುವುದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಒಬ್ಬರಿಗೆ ನೋವು ಮಾಡಿ ಕಲಿಯುವುದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಪ್ರಾಮಾಣಿಕತೆಯಿಂದ ಸಾಧಿಸಲು ತಿಳಿಸಿ ಜೀವನ ತುಂಬಾ ಸುಂದರವಾಗಿದೆ ಎಂಬುದನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿಕೊಡಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ಕ್ಷಣದಲ್ಲೂ ಖುಷಿ ಇದೆ ಎಂಬುದನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಯಲಿ ಎಣ್ಣನ್ನು ಗೌರವಿಸುವ ದೀನ ದುರ್ಬಲರನ್ನು ವಯೋವೃದ್ಧರನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ಮರುಗುವ ಗುಣ ಕಲಿಸಿ ಕಷ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋವಿನಲ್ಲಿರುವವರ ಸಕಾಲಕ್ಕೆ ಧಾವಿಸುವ ಛಲ ಬರುವಂತೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಅಂಕಗಳು ಬಂದರೂ ದೃತಿಗೆಡದೆ ಬದುಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗಿ ದುಡಿದು ಜೀವಿಸುವುದನ್ನು ಕಲಿಸಿ ನಾನು ಅವಳನ್ನು ಅವನನ್ನು ಒಬ್ಬ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಉನ್ನತ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಿಂತ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಮನುಷ್ಯರಾಗಿ ಬಾಳುವುದನ್ನು ಕಾಣ ಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ನನ್ನ ಮೈ ಅಪೀಲ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಒಂದಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ದಿನ ನೀವು ಓದಿದ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಗೆ ನೀವು ಓದಿದ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಘಟಿಕೋತ್ಸವದ ಭಾಷಣವನ್ನ ನೀವು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಿಗ್ನೇಚರ್ ಒಂದು ಮುಂದೊಂದು ದಿನ ಆಟೋಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಬಯಕೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ನಮ್ಮ ಬದುಕಿನ ಮೂಲ ಸೂತ್ರಗಳು ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಸಾಲದು ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಇರಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕೆಡವಲು ಬಿಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗೆ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕೆಡವಲು ಬಿಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಬಹಳ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದನ್ ಡೆಸಿಗ್ನೇಷನ್ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯಾರಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದನ್ ಸೀನಿಯಾರಿಟಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ಸೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದನ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಬಾದರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲರ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಪೇಷನ್ಸ್ and ultimately you will be the winner so once again i thank every one of you for giving this great affection in it and the participation which is all the time a great pleasure and uh, hope to see hope to see hope to see all of you as angels of progressive productive and friendly india thank you